Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this video guys, uh, we will work on settings tabs. Means I will show you those settings which you may, ne uh, may need to change in your WordPress dashboard. So firstly, we will click on journal tab. First one is site item. Guys, you can see this is the site title, websofttutorials.com. And this is websofttutorials uh, website. This is the tagline. If you change the tagline, so I will write first website and I will click on save save changes refresh you can perhaps of tutorials first website in the same way you can change the site title as well this is a site uh, address URL means uh, when you will upload your uh, website from local server or one URL to another URL means local to uh, live server then you need to change the site URL as well we will cover this in upcoming video when you when we will upload this website to live server and you can change the email address of admin means when you will forget your password uh, the password will be sent to the system address and you can also uh, if you want to change the admin password uh, email you need to change it from users as well after that membership if you will check on on this anyone will be able to register on your WordPress website and after that we will go on reading First one will be your latest post. If you want to set your front page as a means you want to show latest posts in your front page, then it will show latest post in front page. You need to check this one. Firstly, on this radio button, you will see the latest posts will be shown on the front page. Now, if you want to make a static page as a front page, so I will select home now this home page will be our static front page and you need to you can also check uh, select uh, means if you want to show post like we are creating a website and I want to make one tab of blog or means I want to show some posts to users as well so to users so I will create one page select one pages of post means all the posts will be shown on this page means home page will be our current page and all the posts will be shown on this services page because we have selected services page now blog pages uh, show at most means how many posts you want to show on a single page suppose I have selected one save changes refresh you can see it will show only one post at a page after that you need to go to order page means it depends upon the theme it is showing older post newer post some put, uh, some uh, themes will uh, make it uh, make the pagination below uh, instead of showing this older post and newer post some po uh, pa templates will be show a pagination so next one we will go to uh, media you can adjust the thumbnail size you can adjust the medium image size and you can adjust the large image size now after this we will talk about the permalinks means permalinks means how the URL will be appear on the uh, means how the URL will be will be appear if you will select the post name then the post name will be shown like if you will click on about us you will see about us if we will click on any post like I will click on slide 2 you will see the post name will be displayed in the URL if I select the default then it will uh, show page number so page ID so obviously then I will click on contact us you will see page ID equal to 75 you can also select day and name it will show the day and name it will if you will select month and name it will show month and name like this you can see 2013 10 and post and name of the post and you can also set it to uh, numeric and post name and you can also make custom structure so in this way you can adjust settings in WordPress so guys in, uh, this was uh, about basics of WordPress and then from the next video we will firstly make a WordPress blog after that we will uh, create a simple WordPress website and after that we will create an e-commerce website in WordPress so guys if you still have any question you can leave a, leave a comment below so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial